So I just did a quick video about how I get paid to make the content that I put everywhere else. And that's really great for stuff when I go to an event or anything else. But um, I've had some people ask about my pretty extensive reading list and uh, the system I use for reading. And um, the numbers probably sound a little bit impossible when I say I read you know, several hundred articles in a week and write about them. People don't necessarily know how to take that. So here's the system I use. And what I do is first, and I know I've already put up another video about not having cues, but in my own hypocrisy, I have a reading cue. And that reading cue just goes in the list of the most recent or important things I have to read. Bring it up, and I'll scan that article by its headline and its main key points so I get a basic gist of it. And then I use a Google Chrome add-on for anything that's, that's uh, web-based. And Generally, I like reading a lot of these digital things. I also have another system for paper books. I go into that in another video. But I'll use this thing. It's called Chrome Extension Speak It. I highlight the entire page, the entire article, PDF, whatever, and I listen to that, and I listen to it in 7x speed. Now, I've already scanned the article. That takes about maybe a minute for a five minute to actually read article and I have a good idea of it. And while I listen to it, I open up another document. And in that document, that's when I start adding in my own original take. I write my first idea, my opinion, my takeaways from the article. And as I'm listening to it, I'm ruminating on it a little bit more. So I'll write maybe two, three, four paragraphs on this entire article and summarize it into my key takeaways, my bullet points, and that's now my original content. And then I'll shuffle that away into my personal web space, and that becomes my original content. And then I just continue doing that for every article on and on and on. Now each one of these articles themselves, you know, some of them are white papers, some of them are 20 pages long, some of them are just one page long, but it's a lot of content. Forrester, Gartner Magic Quadrants, um, you know, blog articles, uh, summaries of other books, and some entire eBooks. And for all of them, chapter by chapter, page by page, I'll continue this process until I've gone through a large amount of content. I wouldn't know how to, how to qualify or quantify any amount of words or books, but I might do that one day. And I create several of my own original posts on top of that. And that's where I go into content creation. After I do that, if I read, and I generally like to put a bunch of the same topic in one group, artificial intelligence, how to speak to investors, putting together business plans, and I'll then make a video on the key takeaways and insights I got from that. And then I'll put that on, so okay, I'm using a red pen, I'll put that on YouTube, and that will become another piece of original content, and then that can proliferate through everything else. So that's, that's pretty much my system. It takes maybe a few hours every day to go through this, but because I'm actually using it as a content production system, as a self-education system, and then, as I said in the previous video, I might write an entire report, um, bring that to a conference, write a journal article, and then sell that content to somebody else. I'm, I'm actually constantly getting paid to do my research, or I'll bring it to a consultation. After reading the amount that I read, you know, once you go through a, a hundred individual articles that are meaningful to your field every week, uh, you will be an expert on some level, especially if you're taking it to the field, if you bring it to your work, you bring it to the office, or, or however you actually do your work. You will be a self-made expert in, you know, come on to a few years of doing this, and I've been doing this for a while now. And that's, that's my content digestion and creation system, all in one little workflow. Make a quick list, a queue, skim it, audio book it, write about it as you're listening to it so it ruminates so it becomes permanent knowledge, create content, disseminate it, and then continue ad infinitum. So I hope that helps somebody to get a lot more knowledge in, get a lot more education in, and, and find a way to clear up that gigantic list of uh, bookmarks and to-dos that they have on their own desk.